Welcome to the final test. Burnout. We have supercharged it and put it on methanol and we possibly could blow up this engine. Oh, Jesus, this thing's moving. Track speed test, going around the track speed in a short car that's called a midget. They were allowed to say because that's the actual name of the car. And it's the final test. This series has been really, really enjoyable. Shout out to the guys at Lakeside for letting me come out here on random days at random times and do completely random things. This scene could not be better. It's a beautiful day. We've got a beautiful car that I modified mostly myself, which is a little bit alarming. But the good news is, is it's still running and we're here. So it's pretty simple. We dynoed it. We nearly doubled the horsepower. Yesterday we took it for a bit of a rip around the car park. It sort of felt like it's ready to go. It was making power. It felt fast, but there's only one real way to find that out, and that's to take it to the dyno. Now, I rang the guys from the dyno. They're ready to go. Obviously, me filming in first person. John's not around today. All around me are familiar face. But we still got to keep the show rolling. So I'm here filming myself now. Put the seat back in, bolted all the panels back in. I put some silicon around some of the leaks, but I don't think it's going to help. But anyway, I tried my best. And uh, yeah, we are going to get this big girl to the dyno. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to run. Like, it sounds really good, cold. I had to start it with a bit of starting fluid. As methanol cars do, they don't like to start in cold weather. So it's a bit chilly here this morning. Sprayed some starting fluid down the pipe, fired straight up. Now we're gonna drive it about 800 meters to the dyno, bolted on the dyno, and fingers crossed this thing makes some power. I'm excited. Guess we'll see, there's only one way to find out. Now before we see how lucky this midget is, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank today's video sponsor, Roll XO. You can put your mind at rest knowing this is one of the most trusted websites on the internet and also withdrawals for this website are seamless. Not to mention that the RTP percentage on this website is better than most of them out there. So what that means is you've got a better chance of winning. Not to mention the bonus system on this website is absolutely crazy. Now if you're down to try your luck, click the link in the description and use the promo code Let's Go to give yourself a 100% deposit increase. Now of course, always gamble responsibly. Don't do what I would do, or do what I would do. Either way, try your luck, but do it responsibly. Responsible, mate. Good luck. So far, so good. Just on a bit of a nice little choppy idle it's got. Methanol really makes things sound good. Just popped out a third like it was in first. There's plenty of torque. The supercharger really adds a lot of torque to this thing. Like, it's just on idle now. I don't want to push it. I want to get it to the dyno when it's still running nice, so. So far, so good. Beautiful day today. Beautiful day to uh, blow up a midget at a dyno or at a track. Hopefully not on the dyno. I really want to give it a lap around the track. We're not far now. So I think the best thing for now is we just turn it off and uh, check for leaks and all that kind of stuff. But it started off running great. And obviously once the engine warms up, it sort of doesn't sound as good. It starts to rev. It still seems like it runs good at high RPM. So I don't think it might not be an issue. It might just be drivability down low, but you know, I guess we're gonna strap this thing on here soon and uh, really, really make sure that, uh, you know, it does what it's supposed to, so. We'll get it strapped on and we'll check in again. All right, we're down here again at JT Automotive now. These guys specialize in big horsepower cars like I've got. It only made sense to bring it down. Someone that can handle this sort of power, hey, mate. <laughs> well, as you saw last time, this is the power we made, 25.7 horsepower now. We've got the big girl on there. I don't think we need straps. Well, we might need, no, nah, we won't need straps. We've got chocks. We're gonna finally see if all this heartbreak and pain we've gone through to put this supercharger on and methanol and all the rest of it is gonna make any difference at all. Now, me personally, I feel like it makes more power, but this is the real test. This is where we're gonna see whether it works or it doesn't work. Now, I'm hoping it makes more power and it holds together, but you know, we're on a dyno and normally things go wrong on dyno. So uh, I guess we're gonna really see, really see what happens here. Surprise those wheels fit in between the rollers. They're so big. So the guys at JT Automotive, they weren't quite happy with my vacuum setup because there is none. I just took all the lines off and left it. You know, there's a couple of leaks, but at the end of the day, it, this, is a, this is a quick thing. So we're gonna try and see what we can do to make it run a bit nicer on idle. But all we really want is to make big power on the big end. So we'll give it a go. 
All right, well, we got everything hooked up and now we're pretty much ready to check the AFR and make sure, you know, it's in a healthy range because we just took the jet out of the, uh, took the jet out of the carby. You know, I don't, I don't know, what's, it sounds okay. We got mad vacuum leaks around the manifolds I made, probably the one Proctor did. So we're gonna give it a few bumps and see what we can do. Guys, we have made 48 horsepower. That's incredible. Look at that, 48. So that was our run last time, naturally aspirated. This is our run now, 48 horsepower. 48 horsepower. We've done it. I don't understand. That mate, that's a massive upgrade. That is huge. Do we want to? <laughs> out of the uh, scale. We're out of the scale. There's more in it, guys. So we're gonna. We can go higher than 48 horsepower. So if we get to 50 horsepower, we've doubled the horsepower of this thing with a supercharger and methanol. That's crazy. That is, that is nuts. And the best thing is, so far, it's it's holding together. How is our, um, how is our fuel mixture? PSI. Now, was that the boost or the? Yeah, that's boost. 10 PSI. So we're running 10, which is good. What was our fuel? How was our uh, ratio for fuel looking? Safe? Yeah, very yes. rich. Very rich, five, that's what we want. We wanted very rich. Now, guys, this is crazy because we didn't really do anything. We just bolted it all together and we let Jesus take the wheel and Jesus is looking after us. We're gonna change some settings here and hopefully this thing will make even more horsepower. If we can get to 50 horsepower, that is twice the amount of horsepower that this thing made previously on, uh, on pump gas. Oh, it's exciting. Very exciting. You know what? This thing is going to set a fast lap. It felt fast, but it's really hard to, you know, to know what it's going to do. So change the settings now and we'll uh, give it another run. Obviously the curve's a bit erratic, but the max peak horsepower. Oh, guys, we have achieved a final horsepower figure of 49.9. So I'm gonna call that 50 horsepower. I don't care what anyone says, that's 50 horsepower in my book. So we've went from 25 horsepower minus a couple of decimal places to 50 horsepower. We basically doubled the horsepower on the sink. This is fantastic because now we've just finished the dyno and it's still got rods inside the engine. So there is literally one more thing to do, and that is to race this around a racetrack and prove these superchargers actually work. At the moment, it's running nice, it's healthy, it seems good, the fuel ratio is perfect. If this can do a fast lap time, we have achieved everything we've wanted to achieve here. And if the engine blows up shortly after that, well then it is what it is, and guess what? We need to put a bigger engine in it. LS maybe, or some sort of turbo high busser engine. Who knows? We first need to finish this, get it to the track, and make sure that we are gonna see a faster lap time. Now, I am stoked with this. Thank you so much to the guys at JT Automotive for making all of this possible. They, uh, you know, if you're only 0.1 short, you know, you could have found another 0.1, you know, but you know, 49.9, I'm happy with that. It is what it is. There's our original starting horsepower, and that is all of our horsepower runs there. We stuffed up on that one, maybe got a bit fat down the low, but pretty consistently 48, 49, and 49.9, which I'm gonna call 50. So our graph's not the smoothest thing. What do you reckon that is, about 4,000 RPM? Does it tell you RPM on that? No, well, anyway, it's happy <laughs> It's happy to about here, and then it gets a little bit little bit squiggly here, and then it sort of peaks a little bit of boost on the big end. But hey, I am over the moon with those results. I did not expect that at all. So thanks, mate, thank you very much. Yeah, with the <laughs> vacuum leaks, we're probably losing boosts around about there. So we would make 50 if we fixed the vacuum leaks? More than likely, yes. Okay, well, I'm probably not going to do that <laughs> because it just sounds like a lot of stuff around. But guys, once again, over the moon, it's still together. Let's take it to the racetrack. But now we have supercharged it and put it on methanol and we want to find out how much time I can shave off that lap time. And I can stand here and talk for another couple of minutes about nothing that's really important or I can put on my helmet and race. Let's race. <laughs> Just like that, we're ready for the final lap. One lap to prove to the world that we did it. We made it work. All right, baby. You know what to do. Three, two. Oh, she's fast. She's way faster. 
Come on. Way faster. On the brakes. Holy Jesus, this thing's moving. Nice corner, perfect line bar. All right, let's make a straight out of this. Oh, you've got to back off through this part. Jesus. Holy, hold on to her. We're at 110 k's an hour, max speed. All right, braking zone, braking zone. Alright. Perfect. That clutch is slipping, I can smell it. Back down a gear. Oh. Really tippy. Classic tippy. Rack off. This is sketchy. This is real sketchy. Oh, big straight. Come on. Come on. 100 k's an hour, 110 k's an hour, we are moving, that's max, yes, wow, what a lap, Woo -woo. Jesus, well guys, if you're watching up to this far in the video, you know that we did it, we did literally everything we set out for, we increased the horsepower, the supercharger works and it's still running perfectly. We methanoled it, well we put, sorry, we ran it on methanol. And, you know, I think that was really the thing that saved this supercharger from overheating. And you know, it's so good to get a series done like this and everything go to plan and it just worked. Now, we could go home and be happy. I still got a bunch of things to do before I leave for America in a couple of days, but there's one more test that we need to do. And last time, here's a hint. <laughs> Last time we used water because it wouldn't do it without it. Today, there is no water. We are going to do burnout and we possibly could blow up this engine because we're doing burnouts. Follow me to the burnout pad. Let's do a burnout. Try a second first before we burn out the clutch. One donut, but If you're wondering, John, the world's smallest truck does the world's smallest burnouts, but it does burn out. See that control I had? It was like I was driving locks so it just with no smoke and less wheel speed. But uh, I think we need to do better. I think we need, let's try the asphalt. <laughs> We've done it. We did every test we set out for. The car is literally still running. How is it still running? I don't know, but we just must have fluked it. Now, this is the end of the series for now, because next time you see this car, well, we're gonna put something really big in it. We're gonna put the holy grail of small car engines in this small car, truck, you, whatever you wanna call it. Thank you for watching the series. If you enjoyed this series, let me know down below, because next time you see this thing, it's gonna be pretty special.